Hey folks, Engineer775 here. Been wanting to show you this product for a long time. Um, I've had it on our website. This is Cold Fire Defense Blend for fighting all sorts of complex fires. Uh, the military is using this, uh, various fire departments, Department of Defense, you name it. This is, uh, I don't know what to call this other than a magic product. And it has the sa same MSDS sheet as water. I um, want to show you a few things. I got a little little fire going here today and I wanted to show you this. But one of the cool things about this for us as preppers is that you can recharge these canisters off of any uh, compressed air source. And today I'm actually going to show you we can do it off of the CO2 cartridges which are great because they're light and carry a bunch of them and so if you need to recharge your your extinguisher you can do that. The other thing is we got in the, this whip here we can also find a way to recharge this extinguisher off of any tire. And so if you've got a, a car tire close and you just bring your extinguisher over to it, you hook them up, it's uh, valved in the middle, so when you've got them hooked up, turn that valve on and you can charge that cylinder off of a tire. But today we're going to show you how to do it off of the CO2 cartridges. Alright, what we're going to do now is uh, charge this extinguisher. We're going to remove the uh, the top there's on the nozzle there's a, a trigger lock I'm going to make sure that trigger lock is set in the lock position there's also a valve on the extinguisher you turn that off unscrew the top it's got a great weighted uh, suction line it will always pull no matter what position if you're crawling no matter what position it is it's going to exhaust all the uh, fluid out of this extinguisher unlike some extinguishers that have a hard tube and they don't get every bit of the um, fluid out. Okay, now we're going to put in um, about, we're going to put in six liters. So if you had a milk jug, you can put a milk jug and a half. That works out close enough for a six liter refill. So you just pour your product in, which is the cold fire defense. amazing amazing properties there's too much to even go into in this video but it's nice to have a firefighting um, solution that is refillable rechargeable and lasts for forever uh, the product class has a shelf life of uh, at least 10 years I would imagine I think that was what I heard we'll have a lot more information on the website that you can look at okay so once you've got your product in so you're on your second round. Dip tube in. Make sure the valves are off. Do a little quarter turn and make sure you got it tight. It'll seal it good. There we go. All right, she's ready now. So now we're gonna actually charge it. See, it's on no pr atmospheric pressure now, so we're gonna use our little CO2 canister recharge unit. Again, this uh, it's CO2. If you've done the, messed with these before, you'll know they'll get very cold. So watch that. Well, this is a way you could do this in the in the woods, in the wherever you are, wherever you find yourself in the field. So it's, okay, it's charging the charging the cylinder. And what we have found that with one of these charges, you can almost pull the trigger for about three minutes and get um, it'll completely exhaust the six liters onto the fire with one CO2 canister. And it does back up a little bit, but that's okay. This stuff is, like I said, MSDS equivalent of water. Okay, so we are charged. We are ready to go to the fire. got a good wind. Fire back up and give them a challenge. These kind of fires they will burn for days and days. I'm curious as to how the cold fire handles it. 
a lot of the stumps and roots and so that was one little co2 cartridge that allows you to you know fight a pretty good sized fire pretty much have this fire under control and it's still going again there was no pressure at all in this extinguisher still going. Nice consistent stream. Again, you want to make sure you have the ability to fight fire before the fire department can get to you. And what if the fire department cannot make it to you? You are going to have to be the fire department. So having a cold fire as part of your arsenal is a great thing to consider. And also consider the ways in which you can recharge uh, the extinguishers. So this isn't your standard fire extinguisher that you buy and it's one shot. This is, uh, this is for the rest of your life, and will save a lot of lives. Classes of fire are A, B, D, and K. It does fantastic on uh, complex fires, grease fires. It has some amazing properties, even uh, being able to take hot metals after uh, you've welded them to cool them down without uh, ruining their metallurgical properties. It's used in manufacturing, it's used in a lot of different uh, applications. Some that are probably unclassified and I can't mention them, but it does, has an amazing ability to cool down the body too. Um, we've seen people spray this on their hands and uh, take a torch to their hands. I don't recommend that, but there's some really freaky abilities out of cold fire defense. And if you ever had to spray somebody, you can, you know, it, it, it's, you're not going to hurt them if it gets it in their eyes. It has uh, no detrimental effects in all the studies it's been through. So there you have it, a fire contained, all done off of one small CO2 canister, a fully rechargeable system. And so really excited about being able to share with you the ability to fight fire with cold fire defense. Check out the website. Uh, there's all different size extinguishers, uh, personal size, uh, small aerosol cans for your car, and then you have the, all different size um, extinguishers. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Look forward to your comments. Engineer 775, signing out. All right, we are completely empty. There is there is nothing in this canister. So like I said, the way it was designed, it doesn't matter the angle that it's at it will completely remove all the material with inside. It's a great, great long-term firefighting tool. Yeah, I would like to add, now that I've uh, taken cold fire to this fire and the fire is completely manageable, I can run over to my rain barrels, rain catchment, and I can fill that extinguisher up and then recharge it either with a tire on my truck or car, vehicle, what you name it, or the CO2 cartridges again, and then continue fighting this fire with just water from my rain barrels. So it doesn't have to be cold fire in the extinguishers. Water's a great uh, fire suppressant, but uh, with cold fire, it has amazing abilities. You wanna start with that, and if you're just running out or you think you've got it under control, don't waste the cold fire. Just go to your uh, rain barrels or whatever water source you might have and continue to make sure that fire is out and out of control, is under control. You can see it's starting to come back up now, but water would handle that easily. So cold fire first, then you can keep going round after round and make sure your fire is out.